They can put you behind for you to cook. You will cook when you are praying and worshiping the Lord. Amen. Because you will see Jesus Christ only as number one in your life. Say amen. amen. Tell your neighbor, say, hey. Hey. Respect the work of prayer. You must love to pray. Praise the Lord. I bow in course. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Now let us continue. The work of prayer. It's because Jesus Christ wants us to pray because he knows that when we are not praying we can be discouraged by things we can lose heart and again when we are not praying we are not going to receive things which we want Quickly let us read together and hear what Jesus Christ is saying about prayer. What I like by Jesus Christ in the life of Jesus we see Jesus Christ always praying in the evening, Jesus Christ will be praying and during the day will be preaching. Delivering many and healing many. The Gospel of Luke chapter 18 verse 1. Then he spoke a parable to them that men always ought to pray and not lose heart. Wayesesho umzegelo ukboni suguti abandukumele basalebe kulega benga lashi itemba. This is what Jesus Christ wants from us. He wants us to pray always and, and not lose heart. He wants us to pray always and not lose heart. What are the things which are discouraging you? You mustn't look at them, continue to pray. What are the things which are whispering inside you? By giving you the message of discouragement. I said don't listen to them. Because once you stop to pray, you have stopped the communication of you with God. How can you walk together with God whom you are not communicating with him? If I can give you somebody here from here and say go to Deben and you find that from here the person whom you are working with he or she is not speaking with you is your journey going to be blessed? No. You will get bored. Praise the Lord. The last conference, we only shared two types of prayer. Prayer for ourselves, the prayer for others. So today we continue to hear about the types of prayer. When we are praying always, we must know the types of prayer. But when you are praying, you will find that in one prayer, you will be praying all these kinds of prayer. 
But is your time now to understand very well? The one who is writing, write it down the types of prayer. Because Jesus Christ wants us to pray always, we must know the types of prayer. We must know the types of prayer. Okay, you say, okay, you underline there. Okay, the types of prayer. The prayer which you are praying for yourself. The prayer which we are praying for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Where you are praying and asking God things for yourself. What do we call this kind of prayer. So, when you are praying for yourself, we can say this type of prayer, number one, is called petition prayer. Petition prayer. You know that when people are preparing the petition is when they are claiming or speaking about what they want. You in South Africa, you know it because when people are doing to it, doing, they... they <laughs> They deliver the petition. It's is the way of speaking. But in the prayer, we don't take pillar card and write things. We don't type on the piece of paper. No, and present all what we have written down. Yes, you can do that. But it takes time. I mean in prayer. When you are praying to God, asking something from God. So in the petition, is when you are praying, speaking with God, asking something, for yourself asking something from God the things which you want say amen can we read together the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 glory to Jesus Christ hallelujah Amen. praise the Lord Glory to Jesus. So sometimes when you are praying, you can say, Lord, I'm here to present my petition before you. I mean, when now you are speaking in prayer, you can say, Lord, in prayer, you can say, Lord, I'm bringing my petition to you. And then you start praying by mentioning them. You want this. You want to receive this. And also in the petition, even though when you are presenting your request, you are also allowed to ask things which you are not understanding in your life. Why I'm saying this is because in your prayer, please, enjoy to ask Jesus Christ also to the things which you don't know. Say amen. amen. Philippians chapter 4. But Philip 4. We shall read. Let us read. Masfundeni. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. But Philippi 4, over 6. Can we get other versions? Okay, we can have two versions. For us to understand very well. I'm reading. 
Ngiafunda. The New King James Version. The King James N. It says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Maninga kata zekna luto. Kota guko gonke ngomkulego nango gmusa nango gbonga. Ni letes kelo zenu gonkulungkul. Okay. Okay, the other English version, please. Omunyo pete nye English. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Okay. Did you hear? That one, that one, it says, it says petition, and the one which I've read, it says supplication. Ikuluma ngusela, no me kuluma makama anafani wesingis, kota shindo yota. Complete Jewish Bible. Yeah. Hey. Don't worry about anything. Yeah. On the contrary, make your request known to God by prayer and petition with thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. I bow and goes. Now do you understand the petition? The petition. There are many, many scriptures. We are not going to read them all because we want to make all this to be faster for you to learn many things. With your prayer and petition, make your request to be known to God. What are your requests? All the things you want. And also in every prayer, the, the things which I said you can ask in every kinds of prayer when you are praying, you can also ask there is no law which says only when you are doing this. No, 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 no. Maukulega no mai na ukumte tokchela gutwenze lokukpe. And again, in the petition prayer, petition is when you are speaking with God on behalf of yourself. You are speaking with God, asking and praying for yourself, for yourself. Both things, spiritually and physical things. You can touch your spiritual life. And again, you can touch also your physical life. That is why also when you have pains which you don't understand. Ask God in prayer. Ask God for the prayer of healing. And ask God what is that. Can you say amen? Amen. Point number two. So this number two is the same with point number one. It's only that number two I will explain to you. Is supplication prayer. In Zulu, what is that? Supplications? Like, like begging in English. Okay. Hey. You know what? When I'm asking you, it's because I've heard that Zulu is having a correct explanation. What is the difference between this one? They are the same. It's you. Remember, it's you. We are still in you. We are still in you here. We are still in you. The difference in supplication this is the prayer which you are praying for yourself. But pleading, pleading with God. Aha. Pleading. Pleading walking together with the humbleness 
Are you getting this? In his supplication, you pray for yourself. Now when you are pleading and humbling yourself, Paul says, I pleaded with the Lord. I pleaded with the Lord. Three times when I pleaded with the Lord, he was asking the Lord to remove the thorn.